some creepy, creepy stuff? We, I, 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 no, I don't know. How creepy? Creepy enough to like, make you poop your diaper. Okay, I'm done. Okay, so this one's about a scary neighbor. Do you remember that scary neighbor that you had? I love pooping. You, you love pooping. Oh, I do remember him. His name was uh, Jack. Yeah, well, I... He was so I found creepy. a I found a story about someone who's like Jack. Oh no! Are you ready? Okay. Don't get too scared. Did Jack make this? I hope so. A few years back, I rented an apartment from a friend of mine. He had recently bought it and had it completely renovated. But why is the apartment tilting? Because it's so high, like geometry. You know? I've never taken geometry. I'm too young. Oh yeah, I shouldn't know what that is. Anyways. After moving in, I realized there was something wrong with the lady next door. There's nothing scarier than a scary lady. She's like Jack! She would sit up all night listening to Christian oh. radio shows and talking loudly what? to someone. It got to the point where I couldn't sleep. Azzy, what do you think's wrong with the lady next door? I think there's a ghost in her. In her?! Yeah! Ghosts can go in?! They can do that! Yeah, they can. <gasps> I saw it once. I didn't know that. I thought that if I just hid, then it would go away. No, I think my sister has a ghost in her. Oh! <laughs> she takes my cookies all the time! <laughs> so I went over to her place and asked her to keep it down. Keep it she down, old lady! She opened her door, and I got a quick peek. Yeah, what Cassie said. Her walks all had crosses painted on them in different colors. And Whoa. words like Jesus and angels scribbled everywhere. So it was colorful, yay! At least she feels protected. It's a happy story. The windows were painted black, letting in no light at all. It was damp, yellow stained 50 year old carpets and cockroaches everywhere. Oh, you. <laughs> I asked her to please keep it down. Be quiet, old lady, I'm trying to sleep. She just looked at me and shut the door. <gasps> and then she turned up the radio even louder. Oh! oh. Oh, what a weird lady. Definitely a ghost inside of she her. She seems very rude. Yeah, th that's the ghost. Maybe she's not haunted. Maybe she's just rude. Oh, yeah, true. She's just mean like Jack. <laughs> Maybe all rude people are haunted. Oh, I like that. I mean, I don't like it, but it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. The next day, I had my girlfriend staying over. I wake up in the middle of the night and see a shadow of a person next to the bed looking at us sleeping. Wait, no! No! I think That's I'm hallucinating, so as oh. I usually do in the dark when I'm sleepy. But then the shadow oh. starts talking. Oh no! It's my neighbor, and she's holding something what is, in her hand. What's in her hand? Why is she inside his house? Is it a Nerf gun in her hand? I hope so. Yeah, she just made she came to play. Yeah, maybe she's just here to play. Maybe it's a sock and bopper. Okay, I feel fine now. You should lock your door at night. She says and walks oh. out. I mean, you should lock your door at night. That was the scariest voice I've ever heard. It was very scary. The next morning, I hear someone making strange noises below my bedroom window. It's my neighbor, talking to herself in tongue. <gasps> she has a plastic bag in her hand, with her rotting, dead dog inside. Get out! Uh, ew! Uh, you know, I was just trying to make you watch something, like, fun, but... I was just trying to make you poop my pants. What would you do if there was a scary lady next door and she was hanging over you at night? I, I would I would go to my, my Uncle John's house and I would live there instead. Well, could I come too? Because I have one of these neighbors next door. Yeah, Uncle John is really nice. I go upstairs and knock on another person's door. The guy is as scared as me. Apparently she broke <gasps> into his apartment one evening as well. Uh, she's terrorizing the neighborhood! What's wrong with her? He got up from the couch to get a snack. Only to find her behind the couch, staring oh, at her, oh no! holding a power drill. It's a drill! Why is her face moving like that? At this stage, I'm basically <gasps> pooping. Me too, me too. <laughs> My diaper! My diaper's so full. When I hear her leave at 2 a.m. to go across the road to the 7-Eleven, I call the cops, and in less than a minute, it's like she was never there. So everything's happy now? Is it a happy ending? Did we get a happy ending? I think we did. I never see her again. But I still have nightmares about her looking at me in my sleep. Oh, no. oh please don't show her. No! Oh, no! <laughs> that was horrible! That was so scary! This was like my idea, but like, that was really scary. <laughs> I'm so scared, Cassie. You should come over. Yikers. Oh, I'm coming.
coming. You know I'm coming. I'm not going to be asleep for at least a year. <laughs> so one of my least favorite things in the world is like thinking that somebody's in my closet. Oh, I think that all the time. The closet is the scariest place, like top one in the world. When I moved to the nursery to an actual bedroom, I was like, can I stay in the nursery because there's no closet? I don't want to be near a closet. No, it's so dark in there and all the clothes look like monsters. Closets create shadows and shadows create ghosts. Right. Also, you know what's another scary place? Where? Under the bed. Oh. Under the crib. You know. Anyways, this is about a creepy guy in the bed. I mean, <laughs> this is about a creepy guy in the closet. <laughs> the man in my brother's closet. Oh, your readings. Hmm. Ooh, it's really good, okay? That. This happened two months ago in January of 2019. My parents went out to a party. They told me they wouldn't be back until at least 3 a.m. Oh, in the morning the because home. the party was supposed to start at 8 p.m. And the party himself. was going to be in New Jersey. He knew no, that's bad. They didn't even say don't answer the door or the phone. Oh, no. Stay alert. Stay safe. Oh, but maybe you gotta say all. You gotta do the speech. You can't just say we're going to party. But maybe he's just gonna call his best friend and then they're gonna just watch scary movies. Hopefully, hopefully he has friends because. Sometimes you can't find any. We live in Connecticut, so it takes a while to get there and back. They told me to watch my 10-year-old brother and expected me to be responsible. Oh, he's got a brother. That's good. This is a happy story. I like this one. <laughs> we watched movies all night yeah, while eating cozy. a bunch of popcorn. It was around 11.30. I told my brother to brush his teeth and go to bed. Yeah. Go to bed, you little twerp. I'm older. Yeah. Actually, I'm younger. <laughs> I was getting ready for bed when my brother came down the stairs. I asked him what he was still doing up. And he said the boogeyman was in his closet. Uh, and oh no, not the boogeyman. I looked at him in confusion. Those bottom lashes, though. I know, I'm jealous. He wanted me to check it out. I said, fine, and started saying he probably just heard a house noise. It's probably not. He said he heard a noise coming from his closet. And when he checked inside, the boogeyman was no! there. No! He said he wanted to touch him. Oh, that's so scary. We went inside his room. I turned on the light and we went to the closet door. <gasps> I opened it, and what I saw made me seriously no, angry. No, 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 no. What is it? What is it? What is there it? There was a tall, oh. scruffy-looking oh. man with long, black, oh, greasy no. hair. Oh, no! I'm it? so scared! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! I'm getting the blanket. What would you do? I'm getting the what blanket. What would you do? I'm getting the blanket. Oh, I don't think the blanket's so going to help this time. It always helps. <laughs> and I need a blanket with wheels on it. <laughs> I was seriously angry when I saw this creep watching my 10-year-old brother sleep. Beat him up! I punched his throat. Oh. He dropped to the floor, gasping for air. But I stepped on his face as hard as I could at least six times. This 15-year-old don't play. No. <laughs> I grabbed my brother and ran into the bathroom, locking the door and calling the cops. In about 10 minutes, the cops showed up and searched the bedroom. He wasn't anywhere to be Where'd found. Where'd he go? They're going to think the kids are lying now. I gave them a good description of his appearance. And an officer even stayed at our house until sunrise. A week later, I was informed that the same guy was caught and we never saw him again. Oh, no. Still scary, so, though. So scary. So scary. <laughs> so spooky. Oh, my God. It was a Sunday and I had just missed my bus, so I had to wait longer for another one. So I decided to sit and wait in the bus shelter. That was until I noticed something out of the corner of my eye. It was a creepy <laughs> guy dressed in thick layers of clothing, walking slowly towards me. Why is he breathing like that? Maybe he's just a guy. Because, like, sometimes I see a scary guy and I'm like, oh, no, it's a scary guy. But then it, he just walks past me and it turns out he wants nothing to do with me. That's true. Sometimes he's just a guy. <laughs> sometimes it's just a guy. He sat down at the other oh. end of the shelter and just stared at me. Maybe he wants to take the bus, too? Oh, he's looking at him weird. What does the bus do? Uh? I took out my earphones and said... He's an alien. He's an alien from another planet. Oh, oh you're so right. Because why else would he know? <laughs> Everybody knows what the bus does. Everyone knows what buses are. Even a baby like me? Mm-hmm. And me? He was really starting to creep me out, so I pretended to be on my phone. After a couple of minutes, I took another look. He uh? moved closer to me. Oh! <laughs> I looked away for a second, then heard the sound of him sliding even closer. Uh, yeah. He turned to him and said, You okay there? He stared at me with glossy eyes. Oh, I would lifted run. lifted his arm and leaned me towards me. Immediately, oh! I grabbed my bag and ran as he fell to the ground. I kept going until I got to the next bus run. stop. Run! Run like the wind! Feeling relieved, I rested my head on the back of the glass and waited for the bus. 
Oh, if he pops up again, I am gonna freak out. I'm already freaking out. Okay, nothing happened. Azzy, cover I your eyes! And turned around to see the same guy <coughs> staring at me through the glass. Then he started walking around the shelter towards me. I would start running again. I'm warning you, stay back. I wanted to run, but I left my bag in the shelter and I couldn't leave without leave it. Leave your bag! Suddenly, the man leaped at me and I quickly no! moved away. He fell to the ground face first. He's not very good at catching people. He found a photo in his wallet of him and his son. The boy oh. looked just like me, so we assumed oh. he I was him. Oh no, that was his dad! I got my driver's oh, license wow. shortly after, and have never been on a bus since. Oh! Did you see his face? Maybe you see his face in the trees? No, 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 go back. And shortly after, and have never been on a bus since. Oh, that's so scary. I can't believe you noticed that. So his dad just wanted to hug the whole time. You were right. It was yeah. his guy. Yeah, he just wanted to get nice and close. I don't get why he was asking questions about the bus at the beginning. Maybe just trying to make small talk? Maybe. That was spooky, though. He's so spooky. I have nightmares. Thanks for forever. watching spooky, creepy stuff with me, Azzy. I want to watch more on your channel, so let's go. Okay, let's go. Link in the description. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs>